All right, a little update. I, today is Monday, November 14th, 2022. And we have a change of scenery. Uh, brought the fuselage over from my friend's house so I could keep working on it. And this entailed bringing all of the tables up from my basement, so now I'm in my garage, because at least here we have a door that we can get the fuselage out. And little did I realize that the garage floor is far from even. And you'll notice that every one of these 12 feet has a different size um, piece of wood on it. And it's like a two and a half inch difference from there because the floor slopes and it also slopes inward and it's just not even. So I wanted these tables, these two big tables that I built to be 100% even and or as straight as I could get it, which they are now. They're straight this way, the long way and with each other. And we put the fuselage on it. George left off. Uh, he pretty much got all of this done <clears throat> and we are, I wouldn't say stuck, but it always seems to be like a hanging point on the cage and this and a little bit ambiguous on the instructions. So I think we got most of that sorted out and it seems to be very true. And basically I am now doing the doublers before we put the top skins on. So this is for the ELT mount. Um, this is the rest of it. George made these nice brackets here. Um, they will be riveted into the bottom plate. And normally the plane obviously sits on the table and I had just swung the S end over so I can get underneath here. Um, I took four of the rivets out that the doubler is gonna rivet onto. And right now I'm just trying to uh, drill the rest of the holes, match drill them to get them in there. But let me tell you, I mean, I have my little workshop set up here, but this was for RC stuff and for car, uh, I used to track cars and everything else. So now I had to move everything from downstairs, upstairs and get it organized and sorted and finding your tools is like half the battle. And I also took the opportunity to finish painting the rest of it. I put a vent in for heat. I brought my drill press bandsaw, table saw up here. Got rid of all the kids' bicycles that usually hang there. And this is the workshop for the winter. So hopefully there'll be some progress on the S21. Talk to you soon. So the ELT mount is done. This, um, this piece is not straight because the stringers that it lines up with is not straight in here. Um, so this is straight in relation to the center line, which you can see there. And uh, yeah, basically just some brackets spaced up and uh, threaded, whatever you call them, the rivet nut plates. And left to do is rivet it into the plane. She's back where she belongs. And the ELT is mounted. Nice and solid. I really like the way that came out. You get three rivets in the back here. 
and I don't know what probably totally of 15 20 rivets holding it in and then 8 30 seconds um, threaded t-nuts in there for serviceability and tomorrow we'll work on these plate George already uh, did all the hard work hopefully these go a little quicker because it took me two days to get that ELT mount finished so much for going quicker. This is day two. Uh, when I say day, it's just a couple hours a day of these uh, doubler plates. And I am about to drill, match drill the rivets and get those in there. This is out of 40 thousands. And I basically just uh, put little holes there for the nut plates so you can unbolt it from underneath and but before I do that I want to make sure I drill all the holes through I got most of the holes drilled. Um, kind of hung up on how to get a drill bit inside here to transfer drill those holes. Probably would have been easier to go from opala, from this side into there, but those are already drilled. And then I got one more hole here that kind of lines up with this thing. So I think I have to get one of those really small, those $300 air drill bits, pneumatic with the screw on drill. And yeah, I'll think of something. As you saw, I used a combination of short drill bits, long drill bits to get them from the top, uni bits with angled screwdrivers, socket bits with screwdrivers or whatever you want to call these. And uh, I got all the holes drilled um, in order to drill the actual antenna, sorry, this main hole. Any further, I have to move the fuselage off of the the table again. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Time to go to bed. Good night. We have uh, the flush rivets in there. So this is for the antenna doubler, and then that's going to go in over there. And uh, I was kind of experimenting with the flush rivets. The only thing I have right now is going to order some pop rivets that are countersunk but uh, I wanted to keep working on this so I used some that were out of the sorry out of the wing kit and I just got to replace them So these are the flush rivets on the bottom and I was kind of going back and forth because I see very few people doing these nut certs. So I thought maybe it was because of a grounding issue or something. And then I did see on the EAA builder's log that a few people had them, literally just two out of several. Most people use nuts, like regular nuts. And 
my thought is just if you have to replace it from the outside, what a pain that'll be to get one, you know, it'll be a two man job at that point. And one person has to crawl under all this. Uh, anyway, I opted for the riveted uh, nut certs and I also, we had some primer on here, so I sanded that off just to make sure it makes a really good connection and hope for the best. Now I'm gonna move the fuselage. I'm gonna slide it back over onto this table and we'll rivet these things in.